yes, unfortunately, an academic disciplinary record can prevent one from getting into certain colleges and graduate programs. When a student is accused and if they were to be found responsible for academic misconduct, um, it will depend on the school, but it can be on a person's academic transcript. Certainly, if there's a separation of studies, such as a suspension, that would just by the nature of what's involved be uh, reflected on a, on a student's academic transcript. But the disciplinary record at all schools, that the finding of academic uh, misconduct would be on a person's disciplinary record. And when the student, say, if they were to try to go to another college to transfer, that is, or to seek admission to a graduate or professional school, such as law school, medical school, or uh, in pursuing, say, an MBA program, almost all schools will ask if the person had been found responsible for any kind of, uh, say, disciplinary issue, including academic misconduct at their prior school. Um, so it, it could put up a roadblock. Uh, and a person may not be able to go further. Uh, it depends on the given circumstances, but um, it can be you know, complicated further by the fact when somebody's seeking professional licensure, such as when somebody's trying to become an attorney or, or a doctor, and whether or not they're going to have the appropriate fitness to uh, engage in such a profession. So the consequences can be profound if somebody's found responsible or even just accused for academic misconduct. That's why it's incredibly important to have an ally, uh, an experienced attorney advisor in your corner from the start of the process to help navigate the process and to uh, do everything to work towards trying to achieve a, uh, a fair process and a favorable outcome.